appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 52. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building for episode 52. Introduce yourself to the audience. So I call myself the Star Roddy Rod. You know, I'm part of the Premier Boys Podcast. I'm part of the Mr. Gentleman Lifestyles family. So I do a collaboration with him with the old school show and also with um conversation about music so i'm here you know ch- chopping it up with mr hype and i'm ready ready let to tell y'all about you, let him know which city you coming from international hype is not just a hashtag it's a way of life yeah man i'm from brooklyn new york you already know all right copy that now let's hit the rundown february the 20th february 20th is the live show how to hustle live show how to hustle live show six o'clock february 20th at 4901 Baltimore Ave at the barn. Uh, get with me to hit to get these tickets, y'all. Uh, you either get them from me or you can hit the link in my bio on any of the pages and hit the event break. Uh, H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. At, at H2H Cleaning, that is a tri-state area situation unless you make it worth my while and I will slide up on you. Custom <laughs> Hustle World. Custom Hustle World is now the name of the clothing line. Had to change it from jerseys because it's more than jerseys now. We now have the custom hustle sweatsuits. We have the custom jackets and we have the custom jerseys. Get with me for any of those situations. And as you know, any jersey, anything purchased comes with a free wristband. Um, now let's hit the radio rundown. Mondays, two o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. Mm-hmm. Every Monday at two o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. GFT Radio at two o'clock on Tuesdays. Wednesdays is 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the kickback app. Then we Thursdays, WTNUPhilly.com at 1230. Friday, I say podcast radio network at 10 a.m. Close it out in New York. Uh, that's Harlem, though. <laughs> at 10 a.m. on the THC radio network. All right. Episode 52. You lock loading and ready? Yeah, man. Let's do this. Who's more toxic, men or women? I really wanted to do this with a woman, but I kind of already know where it goes if we do it with a man and a woman. <laughs> So this is why I switched it up and did it with a guy. So who's more toxic, us or them? Uh, well, I could say that we're both equally toxic, men and women. And I can tell you that, like, with females, you know, a lot of females, they see men as ATMs. They really, they're trying to get to that bag with us. And in many different ways. They get to do children, do getting houses, do getting stuff or from us, you know, some, some are very manipulative, you know. The only thing that women has that we don't have as men is that um, they have the law behind them. So females could take you to court and win. Females could kick your ass and win, you know? And the man will get carted out to jail, you know? But females could be extra toxic, you know, gossip, you no know, judgmental, critical, try to put your family against you. So, so this sounds like that you're going with the female over the male. Don't give me both. Nah, 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 I'm not going over the female over the male because I still so have a little bit more for the you male. Pick one. Nah, you got to pick one. Give me one. Ah, who's more? Who's more? Don't win. Give me equal. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to dot down my my thoughts. So for the male, we're more stronger. We're more manipulative and we definitely could be more abusive. We, we could be more, you know. I mean, females could hit us and hurt us too. But, you know, I feel like we could be more toxic in those type of ways as male. So that's how I feel about the males. So that's why I feel I like... Say, for me, I would say it's us. I would say we would be more toxic in a relationship. Um, now, if we're talking just that relationship between the man and the woman not talking about uh involving your kids and all of that because once you involve mm-hmm. kids in a relationship that doesn't work then obviously it would lean toward more towards the female because then they begin to weaponize the child the child now becomes a weapon and a pawn instead of the so when you're thinking about this you're thinking about 
one-to-one -one relationship more, not just family and marriage and stuff. I think all of that is involved too, you know? I mean, if you, like I said, I said if you're going to, like I said, if you involve in that, if we talking a marriage and all of that, that's perfectly fine. We're talking a healthy marriage or we're talking a mm -hmm. toxic marriage. Because in my head, we're talking a healthy marriage, but even in a healthy marriage, one of us has to still be, one of us has to be worse and one of us has to be better. We're not equally, we're not equal footing with everything. It can't work that way. Like, it's just like, as far as love, somebody loves the other one more than, somebody loves the other one more. Like, that's there's totally certain true. things she will do for him that he wouldn't do for her and vice versa. So that's why I say like, give me a straight, give me a pick one here. But for <laughs> me, like I'm saying, I would go with the man being more toxic because it's how many different relationships do we be having where the us as guys, not even just speaking for myself or speaking for you, but us as guys will play one woman against the other. The women yeah, really just cool. started doing, women just started doing that because we keep doing it to them. Yeah. Like all of this started when dudes continued to think it was cute to have two girls arguing over them. Yeah, three that's girls true. arguing over <laughs> them. Or I'm going to get her to smack you about this, that, or whatever. Like, like girls wasn't doing that. And if a dude felt that strong about a girl, like, it always went way left because once he's more into her than she's into him, it is a dangerous situation. <laughs> like, which makes us, again, more of the problem than them. Like, we be on the dumb shit as far as that goes. Like, we the yeah. ones who be struggling with the commitment issues and just can't be flat honest and tell the girl like look this is not what i'm looking for like i remember my little cousin is on the phone with a girl and he's like i love you too and i'm like why the fuck are you telling her you love her like y'all 15 he's like yeah yeah you're supposed to tell her like you love her because then you can hit no like, <laughs> that's a that's a bad joint little girl ain't telling you that well i don't know about how things work these days don't these days now nah, we're older <laughs> that's what i'm saying don't let me get don't get me for speaking for times that i'm not involved in but exactly. Back in my day, when you was talking to the little chick or nothing, she wasn't telling you she loved you, so you would give her some. Like, you know what I'm saying? You were trying to do everything you could to manipulate her out of giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? So that would, it would always be the thing where we would be trying all we could to manipulate them out of these draws. Of course, and of course, bro. You talking about now taking it towards the money aspect. I would say for me, but. I don't think she's really manipulating you for the money because it's like, that's what you're supposed to provide if you want to be in a relationship with somebody. Ah. If you want to be in a relationship, relationships cost money. I believe like, that. I know that. So it's a certain amount of money that you need to be already understanding that you need to have and be able to pay a certain amount of money for these bills, this car, and all it is that comes with that. That's why my problem be with the 50-50 relationships. It's like our jobs are 50-50, but the gas bill ain't 50-50. Like, that's not the way that that works in my head. I mean, I can't tell nobody else how to run a household and what you do is what you do. But that's how I see it. But honestly, I, I really think that, yeah, because also men could be tossed too as they could be controlling and make a woman do what she needs, like what, he wants to keep her control with money as well. I've seen like situations where like, you know, people, men give females a certain allowance, um, wouldn't allow them to work, you know. So men will go out here and have di whole different families. <laughs> yeah. And then blame, <laughs> blame the girl they at home with and say, you know, I was just, I was just cheating. I was gonna come right back. <laughs> See, oh. it's like you just took it to a whole different family. There's never been a woman with a side family. <laughs> like, well, and I'm, well, I'm not honestly, saying this to absolve the women and act like all of the women are perfect because we ain't going to do that either. No, no, no. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, unless the man takes away the child and <laughs> he keeps the child and she never see him again for years, then that's the only, or the grandma takes away the child and they never talk about it. That's like the only instance or the child gets into foster care and they never see them. That'll be having another family when you think about it, but not really. I yeah, just, that's not the same. That's not the same. I realize it's not the same. Yo, I'm going to the market to go get some <laughs> eggs and you don't see this nigga for the next 25 years. Right, Because he right. moved 20 minutes down the street and got a whole nother kid, a whole nother three kids and another girl and all of that, like, 
girls don't but be in so those situations. Easy. It's so it's so it's so easy for men to go out here and reproduce and have kids all over the world. It's just not the Which same. Which is why thing. it would make us to be more toxic because we can go break how many different homes like that. If you got three kids by three women, you can't have all of them kids ain't under the same roof. So now you've already broken up three different homes because you can't be in all those places at one time. Definitely can. So as much as you would want to be there in all of those different situations. And like, again, a lot of people, a lot of people got a lot of kids and, you know, they do whatever you can to make sure that you have a presence with that child. But in that same aspect, you can't be there every day for everything. So that would be, again, another situation that can make it, that's not even really a toxic thing, but that's really one of those things where it's like you're fracturing the situation. There's now something that that child needs from you that they're not able to get because you're not there. Or because you tend you tend into your other daughter across the town or in another city or another state, like shit might even be overseas. Like you never know which is. Or the person you with can't stand the baby mamas or whatever the case is. Which is again, it's another problem that you've brought in here and created. So yeah, when we break it down, I really am gonna agree with the toxic male. All right, so now that we've talked about the dudes enough and got all the niggas hating, now let's go <laughs> to the females. Woo! Females. The toxic female comes in when we have, like you said, the kids and shit, and it's, you use the child as a pawn. Now, I can't see him because you're mad. You still wanted to be in a relationship, but now I've moved on, and now you're mad and telling me that, oh, he can't stay there because you got that girl there. When that girl could be your whole wife. <laughs> like me and you had a drunken night that we had a child Man, you had a four-year relationship and then we had a child and then things didn't work out it's perfectly fine for things to not work out but once you have these kids we both have to understand that it's more about this child than it is about our personal feelings toward each other our personal feelings toward each other should not matter when it comes to what is best for him or her so it's like you going to make him or her suffer because you're being selfish in that situation and majority of the times not all the times that is the woman doing that to the male about the kid but then also now again this is goes back to the guys who say i take child support so i don't need to do this that or whatever or i don't need to be there or like i send my money and that's just that like that ain't a good thing either to do because the child get affected because the child gets affected but like but I said, not only that, that let's say the child never met or seen the father in their life they only have the vision or the ears of the mother or the grandmother or whoever else is around. That's why so I said once we add no them in, that's when they become it. Yeah. That's when the, the problem becomes the woman more so is once they feel maybe that's what it is. Once the feelings get hurt. Once their feelings get hurt in a situation or if things didn't work out the way that they wanted them to, they become the toxic person because like I said, they are using the child as a weapon. They're not doing what's best for the child. They're doing what's best for them are not even best for them because it's just like what can i do to try to hurt him and if he's the type of guy who's like regardless of whatever she do i'm still gonna be involved in his life exactly and she's gonna make it as hard for him as possible or she's just like i said they'd be just nigga in a whole nigga been married for three years to this girl you talking about my son can't come spend the night because you don't <laughs> like her what does you not liking her have to do with me getting my son Exactly. Like, so now I'm supposed to pay for a hotel every weekend for us to go to because you don't like her. <laughs> but females could definitely do some damage to people when they feelings get hurt, like um, slash their tires or you know, show up to their job and call up their job and be a nuisance. That's another way females can be toxic. I'm just talking, you know, these are things that happen every day. Nah, no question. Uh, I remember... Uh, we ain't gonna use the names or nothing. I remember a female pushed the air conditioner in the window <laughs> and tried to climb in the window into the house of my man. Wow. Like, because he wouldn't answer the phone. She called nigga for like an hour straight and he wouldn't answer. So she pushed the air conditioner in on him. Like, I remember chick coming up on the corner, bleaching the whole fucking TV in the game because the nigga wouldn't answer the phone. Like, these aren't toxic things. These are just like, why the fuck would you even do this type of things? But, but these are all because you have too emotional, too many feelings hurt and all of that type, many shit, feelings type hurt. of things. But when those situations go to the dude on them, the sad part about this is now they become a whole different situation. But honestly, 
females can push dudes to also react. It's a reaction from something they did. Think about it like that. You know? Our reactions, though, are all based on the decision that you make. Uh, everybody doesn't react to everything the same way. And I understand you that. You can't yeah. say, you can't, us as, us as men cannot say, she made me smack her. She made me shoot her. Like, because she said this. No, I mean, shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> She made me do this, that, or whatever, because she said this, because she did this. Like, you also still had the choice to make in that situation. Like, the same way that the woman can't say, he made me do this, that, or whatever, because ultimately, you had to make the choice to make your hands do whatever it was that they did. But let's also talk about emotional abuse, too. There's not only physical, no. Verbal abuse is also something that, you know, pushes people too far. Oh yeah, you dumb as shit. You ain't gonna never find nobody to take care of you like I do. You fat as shit. Don't nobody else want you. Yeah, the emotional and psychological shit too. That, that kind of works on both ways too. Cause then you get if you have the type of person, really that one goes to the type of person that the other individual is. If they're the type of person who doesn't have that much confidence, the type of person who needs to be constantly reassured, the type of person who doesn't think very highly of themselves. And if you can play upon those emotions, then you can psychologically fuck them all the way up. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I just want to say one thing. Like, there's so many people who, you know, they're not the baddest looking females, but they got the most confidence. Like, I see it all every day. And I'm just like, <laughs> how you got these people with low self esteem and stuff that don't. That's a personality trait. Yeah. Like, because it could be as far as this go. This girl's dad abandoned her when she was six. Yeah. So in her mind, if I was not good enough for the one man who's supposed to be protecting me for the rest of my life, then how will I ever be good enough for any other man? If this one's dad abandoned him and now the mom is raising the son and all she ever did was talk down about his dad, then this is what gets normalized to him. And now when he's searching for a woman, he's not actively searching for that, but these are the things that he gravitates towards. The woman who will be more aggressive and argumentative towards him because that's what's normal to him that's what he thinks the love looks like that's what she yeah. thinks that love looks like it makes it one of those things where it's like you'll never be good enough type of thing because you're going to always search for the thing that's wrong and the thing that's bad for you to have unless you get the individual who goes and does a complete 180 and say if this is what my situation was and they recognize it i'm running from anything that looks like it to go to the other shit but honestly a person can have four to five different kids. All four or five different kids have choices at the end of the day, too, and how they mind work and how they operate as well. So, like, it could be four or five different kids, but they all have different situations. It can't be the same dad or same mom. So I understand is in you with the self-esteem, like you said. So I understand you're going back to that. Four or five different kids, like I'm saying. Mm -hmm. like four or five Let's say personalities. Some they want different personalities. But yeah, they all got different personalities. So now let's just say, okay, we got five kids and three moms. Okay. Let's go there. Now, the one, these two kids over here, if they are four and five, mm -hmm. they don't have the ability to just pick up a phone and call dad. They have to go to mom and say, hey, can you call him? Exactly. Or we can even switch up the situation and say, hey, can you call her? They're completely dependent upon you doing it. And if for the last seven eight years now that they become a like an early teen the last mm -hmm. seven eight years every time i brought him up you belittled him you demeaned him and you talked down about him yeah. and you said he with his other kids he ain't worrying about you and all of that type <laughs> shit you are now creating that resentment in the child because now when they get to be 16 and they're able to move about they on their own and then when they say well why didn't you ever come get me when i was doing this that or whatever and they say like I called your mom and I did like, it becomes one of those, he said, it becomes my word against hers. Cause unless you're going to break out the phone records from 2004 and say, see here, I was calling every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's true. one of those things where it's like, they create that in the child. And again, it's what gets normalized to you as a child is what you think, whatever you see in your house is what you think everybody else is going through. Exactly. Like, you, you think that this is what's going on next door and across the street. Like, because it's like, well, our lights are always off. So I guess everybody's lights is always off. Like, my dad ain't here. His dad ain't here. His dad ain't here. 
it's like my mom argues with her boyfriend every day and like they fight and all of that type that's what normalizes it to you because that's all you ever see you never see the other side how well, many that's times why you get a lot kids, of people how many times you get kids though that'll say like yeah they 16 17 and they went to an hour away from home and was like yo i never even knew this shit was here but these ones across the street been going here every summer for a week like it's different situations for everybody. One thing I was one thing I was thinking about too is a lot of people they're so excited and they're so amped up to run away from home at 18, to go away to school, um, to get their own crib at 18, not even knowing what life is about, you know, because sometimes the parent wants them out or the situation is so toxic they want out. So I see that a lot as well. Yeah, I mean, that's all about how you prepare your child. If you shelter them too much and then you just push them out the damn door, now what? You haven't prepared them for the world and what's out there. If you always did everything for them and took care of every damn thing, how do you expect that they are equipped to do anything? Mm -hmm. So that's all about how did you decide to raise them. But um, switch it up now. Uh, right. Let's talk a little bit about the podcast. How long y'all been doing the podcast? Um, we've been doing it since last year, September, the Premier Boys podcast launched. My boy, Ken, Mr. Gentleman, he did his first in 2019. He just celebrated his three-year anniversary. Um, three-year shout out to that. Shout yeah, to man. Ken. So January 19, I think. He did throw, out everybody, throw out everybody's name that's on the podcast. You know, gotcha. So we got Long Live the Chief. This, we have Mr. Aaron Sands, King Talk Aaron Sands. We have Ken Mr. Gentleman, and we got me, the Star Roddy Rod. Four people. Copy that. So now, as a new listener to the podcast, tell the listeners what is it that they could expect when they click the button for y'all. So what you can expect for the Premier Boys podcast is news. We do premiere news, we do power, power recap, and we also do um, a main event topic. Main event topic could be a big news topic. We just had Flat Earth come on the show and talk for an hour. That's the main event talk topic. And you know, it, it premieres every, every Wednesday or every other Wednesday on all streaming platforms except Spotify. The Premier Boys so Podcast. What's up with the Spotify? Because when you first hit me and I said, <laughs> I need the Spotify link, you said everywhere but Spotify. Spotify is my twist. Shouts out to Spotify. I'll accept only five stars on Spotify now. They got that on there, y'all. Well, let me tell you, we had a situation where we was playing music from BMG Interscope. And okay. we got strikes from Spotify. So Spotify took us down for the time being. So All right, copy that. you got to You got to You got to watch out for these copyrights, y'all, because they're really serious and they really will come at you. Though. <laughs> That's why I am my intro. <laughs> What's the genre that you would say your podcast would fall under? Like what entertainment news, entertainment news. And Today maybe news. television. You talk about television a lot too. music, rap. You was talking about music and rap and R and B, you know things that happen in the culture, and we we talk about everyday news as well. You know politics. We talked about Joe Biden and you know things that happen with Trump and Governor Cuomo in the past. So you know these are things that we talk about all the time. Before we close it out, one last thing about the podcast: throw out the handle, uh, tell them where to follow y'all at, and all of that. All right. You can follow the podcast at The Premier Boys Podcast. And The Premier Boys is spelled C-H-E-P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E-B-O-Y-Z. And also follow my boys, um, Ken, Mr. Gentleman. Um, they call me Mani Mao and Aaron Sands Premier. Those are all the hosts in the podcast and also me. The star Roddy Rod. So you can find us all on IG. Copy that. Now, one last thing. 
Mm-hmm. What is the one episode that you would say you go to this episode that you get the best uh, representation of the Premier Boys? Um, there's a couple. <laughs> I know the one about Governor Cuomo. We kind of went in on, and the one with the Kanye West versus the Astro World. Those are two good episodes that you can start out with if you're listening. Copy that. All right. I appreciate you coming on for episode 52. You too, the man. Podcast. I'm glad for, I'm glad you're having me here, man. It was really fun. Hey, ain't no question. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle Podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Feel it, feel it.